This is a Canadian version of Sweet William's Ghost. Lady Margaret was sitting in her own lone home, built of lime and stone. Lady Margaret was sitting in her own lone home when she heard a dead man moan. Is it my father, Lord Thomas, she cried. Is it my brother, John? Or is it my true love, sweet William, from Scotland home has come? It is not your father, Lord Thomas, he said. It's not your brother, John. It is your true love, sweet William, from Scotland home has come. Have you brought to me any diamond or pearl? Have you brought to me any ring? Have you brought to me anything at all that a true love ought to bring? I have brought to you no diamond, no pearl. I have brought to you no ring. I have brought to you my winding sheet that my body is buried in. Then he's taken her by the lily white hand and bid him company. And he's taken her by the middle so small, saying, Follow, follow me. So she's lifted her petticoats one by one, a little below her knee. And she's gone o'er the hills on a cold winter's night in a dead man's company. They walked and they talked alone together till the cocks began to crow. Now it's time that the dead must part from the living. Lady Margaret, I must go. Have you any room at your head, she said. Have you any room at your feet? Have you any room all about your sides that I might lie down and sleep? Father is at my head, he said. Mother's at my feet, and there's three hellhounds all about my sides waiting my soul to keep. One is for my drunkenness, one is for my pride, and one is for promising a fair pretty maid that she might be my bride. She has taken a handkerchief from her side. She's placed it on his breast, saying, Here is your faith and your troth, sweet William. Pray God your soul might rest. I am grateful to you, Lady Margaret, he said. I am grateful unto you. If ever the dead might pray for the living, Lady Margaret, I will pray for you. No more the ghost to Margaret did say, but with a grievous groan, he's vanished in a cloud of mist, and he's left her there alone. Mm.